Okay. So here we have the different parts of the cell. So we're just gonna identify them. Um, here we have um, a picture that we had on my uh, on our microscope, and this was um, without any salt water. So this was just normal aquarium water. And here um, we put it into salt water to um, examine the changes. So first of all, we're gonna show you the different parts of the cell. So here um, we have um, the cell wall. In purple, we have the cell wall. In yellow, we have the cell membrane. And the cell membrane basically holds all of what there is in the cell. And it sort of, it's sort of the basic structure of the cell. So here we can see that without the salt, the chloroplast are moving freely. There's, they're not all bunched up or anything. On the contrary to here, where they are all, all bunched up and the chloroplasts are compressed together. Now if we move on to the second slide. Uh, so here we have the process of osmosis. So due to the salt, most of the water where the white space was, as you can see here, has um, left the cells in order to balance the water-salt ratio. Um, because as, you can, as uh, we can observe, when we have salt water, um, which comes to the outside of the cell, there needs to be about the plant balances um, how much salt there is on e on either side of the membrane. By but so then the the water moves throughout the cell membrane to balance this. So this is what we call osmosis. And here we have the the process of plasmolysis. So plasmolysis is when the cytoplasm bunches together and detaches from the cell wall. This is because all of the water, um, all of the water that used to be in the cell has exited due to osmosis to um, balance the water-salt ratio.